Now I'm Annette Keating, and I went to Little Harbor in 1956 to teach school for three months, and I've never left. They gave you a permit to teach, as long as you had grade 11. I had my grade 11, I was working in the post office. The inspector came to see my mother, and he said, look, we need a teacher. I was 15. There were um, 17 students, and they were primary to grade 11. School started at 9, went from 9 to 3.30. Of course, then at 9 o'clock, we always had to open school then with the Lord's Prayer. We sang uh, God Save the Queen. Of course, did the allegiance to the flag. Everybody stood by their seats, stood to attention. You sang, oh, Canada. You had to be well prepared with all the different grades. Every morning, you would always make sure that you did your language arts. That was basic every morning for every student. And maybe on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you did social studies and history and, and geography. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, you did science. It's not like it is today, or it's not like it was when I taught in later years, that there was any hands-on activities. The emphasis was on the materials that were in the books. In the first years when I taught, why you taught the math book? and that if you were in grade four, you had to complete that grade four math book. People were independent learners. It seemed like the people appreciated it, though, and the kids appreciated it because they knew you were there to work for them and that they were going to learn how to read and they were going to be able to do well in school. I was very proud of all the students.